Today I'm so excited because I am packing for a trip that we have been looking forward to for like so long and we booked it actually two years ago. So from the title you'll be able to tell that we are going to Iceland soon and like I say I actually booked this for Grant's birthday about two years ago now and obviously due to Covid we've had to cancel it, rebook it, rearrange but it's finally happening and we are finally going soon so I've been getting all of my bits and bobs out ready to go so I thought I would film everything that I'm taking with me and share this maybe if it's useful if you are going to Iceland soon so yeah we're going in the winter season so we want to be warm, comfortable, dry so we've tried to take that into consideration with the bits and bobs I'm going to take with me. I'm not sure how we've swindled this but we do have two suitcases that we can take with us and they will go in the haul. So we do have two pieces of large checked luggage and then also our personal carry-on items too. So we are I think going to take one suitcase. I don't think we'll need two because we're not there very long unfortunately but it's also great because we don't have to scrimp on our luggage and trying to make sure that everything is really lightweight which we would usually have to do for a trip like this so that's really nice. We do have a few activities booked and um, we are planning on going on a Northern Lights tour to try and see the lights, fingers crossed they'll make an appearance for us and then we do also have a horse riding trek booked and a trip to a spa and then we also are planning on doing um, some driving around the island, around Iceland, doing the golden circle stop-offs, doing some sightseeing. So we've packed trying to again take those activities into consideration but we're not doing any kind of intensive hiking or like several days trekking or anything like that. So if we were doing something like that we probably would have packed a bit differently but I think the items that I've got together are going to be perfect for our stay and what we're doing. So yeah, I'll show you what I am packing and taking with me to Iceland. First up, I am going to start with shoes. I'm only going to be taking two pairs of shoes, I just don't really think that I need more than that for the time that we're there. But the first pair are these brown suede boots, and they've got a bit of a fluffy cuff on them. I've had these for literally over 10 years, they just keep going and they're just such fab quality. I've worn these literally for so many miles, they're super comfortable. Relatively, they are actually relatively waterproof, I'd say they're more like splash proof, but they'll be perfect for the little bit of hiking and walking that we're doing. And then the second pair of shoes I'm taking is this pair of black boots. Again, these are super comfortable. I usually wear these actually on our dog walks um, relatively splash proof too and because they're just all black they will go with pretty much everything which is great so yeah that's the second pair that I'll be taking I did think about taking my actual walking boots but then I thought for the amount of walking that we will be doing I just don't really think it's worth it because they're so big and bulky so they're my kind of substitutes for that, but I think they'll be perfect for what we're doing. And then onto coats, I've tried to pick out the coats I have that give me the most of that fuzzy warm feeling when I wear them because I'm anticipating it being so super cold. This is the first time we've ever been, so I don't know what the weather is like, but I've been told that this time of year it's freezing. So the first coat I will be taking it's actually from River Island and it's this big white cream puffer um, and yeah I've worn this quite a bit already and I love it, it is super toasty even though it's not by an outdoor brand, um, like I say it's from River Island, it is super toasty, this is really good for keeping me warm and I'm thinking I'll probably wear this more around um, when we're in town, going for coffee, something like that. Second coat I am going to be taking is another puffer style, um, super cosy, really warm again, but this one is quite a bit longer. This one comes down to my knees actually, and I usually wear this one on dog walks too. So it has these built-in cuffs. 
So we've got these built-in cuffs here, which are really nice. And it zips all the way from the top to the bottom. And we've got a bit of a fur-lined collar there. So this one should keep me nice and dry warm and cosy and then finally for the bit of walking and outdoorsy bits and bobs that we'll be doing I'm going to take my decathlon fleece and jacket so this is a really great outdoor jacket with a built-in fleece I've had this quite a few years now and I find the decathlon products are just such good quality for the money that you pay for them so this has got a nice big hood and yeah I love the colour of this one I'm really looking forward to trying to get some really nice shots whilst we're in Iceland and I think that this will stand out really nicely against a lot of the backdrops but it's also super practical great to keep warm or to remove the inside fleece if it get a bit hot whilst we're walking so yeah this is the third and final jacket outer layer that I'll be taking so like I say we have got the luxury of having a suitcase which can go in the hall so a lot more space for luggage so a few of these items I probably wouldn't normally take on a trip like this but because we've got that extra bit of room I'm gonna treat myself and go with a few more options so from starting with bottoms I'm gonna take these pleather faux leather look leggings and they're in this really nice warm beige color and these are, they're not fleece lined, but on the inside, they're really nice and fluffy. So I think these would be great for wandering around Reykjavik, hope I've said that right. Um, and again, if we're just going for coffee or something, well, I don't really want to be wearing all of my different outdoor layers. And then again, normally for a trip like this that is a bit outdoorsy, I would never bring jeans because they are just, for me personally, I find that they're just the most impractical material for anything outdoors. They just attract water, take ages to dry, take up loads of room. But I am going to break my little rule and take just one pair of these trousers. They're in this kind of cream colour and these are from Next. So again, I thought these would be nice if we have time to change to go out for dinner at night, just whilst we're out and about around town. Got a nice pair of jeans to wear. And then for the more practical side of things, for bottoms, I've got two pairs of fleece lined leggings. And these are just a cotton fabric with a fleece lined. And then to go underneath those, I've got my thermal layer, my thermal base layer. So I'll pop these underneath the leggings. And usually I would also take a pair of rain trousers to go over the top because this kind of material, if it's raining and misty, it'll just attract all the water. So I would normally take a pair of rain um, trousers, but I don't think we'll need them. That might be... Um, famous last words saying that, touch wood, but hopefully we won't be, like I say, outside um, doing too much long hiking or walking. Um, we have also hired a car, so hopefully with a few extra pairs of leggings and things we can pop those in the car and then if we do get wet halfway through the day we can do a quick change in the car or something. And then I've got my thermal socks super important, want to have nice toasty warm feet and I actually picked these two new pairs up from Primark and so far I'm really impressed, they're really nice and thick, the quality feels great so yeah I've got two pairs of those and then I'll also be taking a couple more of my old uh, walking boot socks which it's just really nice big thick socks just to keep me toasty warm and if they do get wet I can just switch them out and try and stay as dry as possible. Thick pair of tights. So my mum has actually given me these because when she visited Iceland she actually bought these in Iceland and she said she ended up wearing them underneath everything and it just kept her really nice and warm so I've borrowed these off my mum and I'm going to take these and they'll be a nice added extra if I feel like I need that extra layer. Okay, so on to tops and jumpers. These are the ones that I think I'm going to take with me. So 
I always say this actually in a lot of the kind of pack with me videos that I've done before, I always try to pick a colour scheme which for me personally is generally neutrals, warm tones, beiges, whites, creams, that kind of thing. But the great thing about doing this when you're packing is that you can pretty much mix and match everything. So even if things are all over in your hotel room or your suitcase or whatever you're taking, it's nice and easy to grab things and put them together and still look kind of well put together because everything can be mixed and matched. First one, polo neck, roll neck, jumper. This is a nice thin one. So I'll probably wear this actually underneath as a sort of base layer of a lot of the other jumpers. I've got this one here which is really, really nice. It's a wool blend material, so it's really warm and really well insulating. And I've got a couple of other roll necks. So I've got this nice chocolate warm brown one and this really big chunky knit roll neck as well. And finally, I have just got this hoodie. This one's from H&M. Again, just a great piece to layer, especially when we are out and about nice and easy to take on and off and also just for when we are kind of relaxing around at the hotel if we get time to do that it's nice to have these kind of comfy loungewear-esque bits and bobs that you can just chuck on and be nice and comfortable then on to accessories i'm going to be taking my nice warm black scarf and also this scarf which is one of my favorites when it's fully opened up it's absolutely huge and I'd usually take this and wear it on the plane because it's really nice to have as a blanket whilst I'm on the plane too. Because it's got cream, black, mustard, a bit of a beigey brown in there. It just goes with everything. It's just nice and easy to throw on with any outfit and keep my neck nice and warm. Obviously, I've got to take several hats. <laughs> but this one here, which is actually homemade, that's a really nice wool material. So that will definitely keep my ears and my head nice and toasty warm. How cute the bobble is on this. It's just such a cute little bobble hat. Love that one. And then I've got this gray one and a nice beige cable knit one. Another essential item to pack is a pair of gloves. So these ones have the bits on the fingertips so that you can use your phone or I like to wear them because I find it easier to work my camera whilst I've got these on. So yeah, these come in really handy and <sighs> handy, <laughs> no pun intended. And uh, whilst I'm out there, I think I am going to look for a good pair of quality waterproof gloves to go over the top of these just because these aren't the warmest. They're pretty thin and um, they do the job, I think if you're not outside for very long, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pick up a nice pair to go over the top of these whilst we're there. And like I mentioned, we are going to a spa, um, which is like a hot spring, and I'm so excited because it just looks, oh, it just looks so beautiful and just out of this world. It looks amazing. So we've booked to do the, it's called the seven step ritual which again, just sounds incredible. So we're gonna do that. And I did grab a new swimming costume, which looks like this. And we've got a nice cross detail on the back there, like so. This is from ASOS, but the brand is Pimkey. Never heard of this before, but the quality is really nice. So yeah, I picked up a new swimming costume for the spa and our hotel also has some outdoor pools, which will be nice. Hopefully we'll get a chance to have a dip in those too. And the final bits that I've got to share are my bags that I'll be taking. So whilst we're traveling and potentially whilst we're out and about, just got my trusty bum bag. So I'll just pop my things like my passport and boarding passes, that kind of thing in here. So that they're nice and easy to reach for whilst we're at the airport. Obviously with COVID still an ongoing thing at the moment, we have got our vaccination passes, um, pre-registration forms for Iceland to show at the airport. So this is just handy to keep everything together and we can just grab it out easily. Then I have just got a little black side bag, little 
crossbody bag just for whilst we're going out at night if we have chance to go out anywhere nice for dinner I can just grab this instead of carrying around my backpack <laughs> and because it's only small anyway it's really nice and easy to pack finally for my backpack and my carry-on luggage for the plane I'm going to be taking this backpack which is by Roxy and I've had this for years I find that all of their products are just such good quality and I love that the pattern on here is quite wintry. I think it'll just be perfect to take to Iceland with me. So that is everything that I'm going to be taking to Iceland with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that maybe it's useful. Let me know if you've gone to Iceland before or if you are planning to go there soon. I'm really excited and can't wait to go now. I'm going to be vlogging whilst we're there as well. So there will be an Iceland holiday vlog coming up soon so yeah thank you for watching i hope that you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time